Yo yo, how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having a good day. In today's video showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up citizens uh, to work with bungee cords, set skins, uh, set up commands, and just have uh, citizens on your server, how to use it and set it up. Because there has been a lot of questions asking how to do this, so uh, that is why I'm making this tutorial. So uh, I am running a bungee cord server, and if you guys actually want to check out this server, uh, it is one that I am developing at play.ilsmmc.net. The link for that will be down in the description. Uh, we mainly have a Skyblock, which is the main focus on the network. We also have events and creative if you guys want to come and check that out. So uh, to get started, I'm going to head and set up an uh, NPC right here with Citizens, and this is going to be connecting to my faction server. So the uh, first thing I like to do is I like to get myself centered right above where my NPC is going to be. So with World Edit, I just do slash up one, and I will go ahead and center me on the block above. So then we can go ahead and do NPC create and then now we need the name of the NPC so uh, this can be pretty much whatever I'm gonna call this fact and so I'll we'll go ahead and make the citizens the name called fact and so that is sort of the identifier for that NPC that we're gonna be using so as you guys see it is sort of looking down at the ground because that is where I was looking when I created it if you guys wanted to like look around at players uh, I use this command NPC uh, look and that will actually just go ahead and make it look at the specific player. I kind of like that because it makes it a little bit more interactive. If you don't want uh, that look command, all you can do is just pretty much look in the direction that you want the NPC to look at. And then if we go ahead and create a second one, as you see, he does look in that direction and he won't look at the player. So uh, that is how you do that. And if you want to remove an NPC, make sure you have that NPC selected. So if we do NPC cell or select, and that will go ahead and actually select the one, as you see, it is already selected and we can go ahead and remove that. So that is how you select and remove ones. And so now um, we need to reselect this one because this is the one that we're going to be editing. So we can do NPC select again. And as you see, we are now selected it. So now I want uh, his name to be a little bit different. So we can change his name. So we'll do NPC rename and we can do this like color codes and we'll just call it factions. And there we go. As you see, his name is Factions, and he does have this, uh, I don't, I, I want to say, like, a mouse skin or something. Um, I actually don't know what, what entirely that is, but it does look kind of funky there, but, um, so now we can actually set the skin of the specific NPC. So if we wanted the skin to be me, we could do NPC skin, and then I can just put in my name, Soul Striker, and that will actually change his skin, and there we go, guys. That looks like an awesome skin. Pretty cool guy right there. Um, so that is how you change the name. If you want to set up to like uh, Jeff or something, then it would change the skin to the username Jeff. And so if you want to use a skin that is not currently on a player, that is where you can use a URL um, and select the specific skins. So currently I am on a mindskins.org. You can pretty much go to any type of website that allows you to find specific skins and get URLs from them. So uh, you can use Skindex, you can use a namemc.com, that one works too but uh, I'm gonna head and search up a uh, Reaper because I think that will probably look the best for my specific faction game mode so let's go ahead and do this one. this one looks pretty scary so I'm gonna head and actually copy this link right here so then we can switch back over to my Minecraft and so now we can do NPC skin and then we need to use the dash dash URL and that will go ahead and tell the plugin that we need a URL link and so go ahead and just input that whole link and there we go, we just got this really scary looking skin for our faction, so that is perfect, guys. So now we can go ahead and start actually adding commands to this NPC. So uh, we can do NPC, CMD, and then now there is uh, some more subsets that so you can add permissions, you can add delays, cooldowns, which is really helpful so players don't like spam everything. So the main command I'm gonna be using for this is gonna be sending uh, to my Bungie server. So we can do NPC, CMD, and then we need to do add, and then now we need to do dash p so this dash p represents uh, a player executing the command for themselves rather than council so uh, I will show you guys how to do council commands and more uh, specific player commands later on uh, so now we need to do the player command which is the server and then uh, factions and that will go ahead and add the specific command to our faction NPC if you want to see the list of commands that you have added you can do NPC and then just CMD and then we'll actually show you what you have. So let's go 
ahead and actually add another command. Uh, we'll do add and then we'll just do a random command and then if we go ahead and uh, list the commands as you see. So then here are our two commands and uh, say we accidentally entered this one. We can do mpc cmd and then we'll remove and then the id which is one. So that will go ahead and actually remove that. Then if we go ahead and check it again as you see we are back to our original one. So now we can go ahead and right click on it and that will actually teleport us to our completely other server on Bungie Cord. So we are now on the faction server, which is pretty cool. All right, so now I wanna show you guys how to make more NPCs using uh, player commands as well as console commands. So I'm gonna head and make a new NPC right here and we'll just call this NPC create and we'll do test. And I'll go ahead and make this NPC right here. And then I'm gonna head and actually do a skin, heal and NPC rename and we'll just call this uh, and we'll just call this a healer NPC. And there we go. So now we have the healer one and I want to make it look at everyone's and then now it will go ahead and look at us. So now what I'm going to be doing is adding commands to like heal the player as well as give them some money when they're first starting out. So for example, to do that, we can do NPC CMD and then we need to add and then now let's go ahead and actually heal the specific player. So to get the, the instance of a player's name, you want to do the little uh, caret symbol and P uh, or greater or less than symbol, however you want to call it, and then just put in a P in the little spaces there. So that will actually tell the plugin to use the player's name instead. So this is actually going to be running from council, and it will actually tell the council to heal that specific player. So for example, if we go uh, like up five, and we'll take some damage real quick. So and then if we go ahead and right click, as you see, I have been healed just like so. So say we want to do that same heal command, but have a cooldown for it. So this would be uh, in seconds. So if say we want to have like a 500 second delay, then that would pretty much be doing the same thing. We'll do heal and then player and then the cooldown of 500. So now we need to actually check the NPC commands that we have and remove that first one or the ID of zero. So we do remove a zero. And then now if we go ahead and try to spam this, as you see, I've only been healed once. And uh, now we have that cooldown. So currently there is no cooldown message, uh, but you could totally add one if you wanted to do that as well. So then on this corner, I'm going to head and go up one again, and we'll go ahead and make a new NPC, and we'll just call this uh, Cash or something. So uh, this will actually go ahead and make a new NPC right here, and then we'll go ahead and make it look, and then we'll go ahead and rename it uh, Cash, just like that, and then we'll do NPC Skin, and then we'll do it uh, uh, Jeffrey or something. <laughs> I don't know, we'll just do like a random skin. So, oh yeah, that's actually perfect. So for this NPC, I think I will go ahead and run the Player Command Class Battle, so that is is what is going to show the player its balance and so maybe we'll even give like five dollars to him but set a cooldown on that specific command so uh, let's go ahead and do npc cmd add and then we're going to run the slash bow command but do dash p and this will actually indicate that i'm going to be running this as the player versus the council like we did with the healer uh, npc over there and so i'm going to head and do that and then the cooldown is going to be two seconds so we'll go ahead and do that let's go ahead and chase it out as you see there we go guys uh, it is actually working so now since we did add that cooldown of two seconds uh, we can't actually spam it so it does work very well just like that. So now let's actually go add another uh, command and this is going to be running it from council. So we'll do ECO give and then we'll do the little carrot symbol P which indicates the specific player and we'll just give them $10 and we'll add a cooldown for like 100 on that one. So if we go ahead and right click as you see $10 has been added to my account and if we go ahead and try to add 10 more dollars as you see that huge delay that we added that means that it is not going to be working. So I think that's going to wrap up my tutorial of how to use citizens and get it hooked in with Bungie Cord as well as using a player and council command. So if you guys have any more questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.